First pitch. That's grounded past the mound towards the middle and through in a center field of base hit. Colway will score. Pantoja will score. On the third is Cole Kaler. It's a two-run single up the middle for Nick Keith. And the Ducks have closed to within 6-3. First pitch, runner goes, pitch is taken low, the throw down to second base, not in time, and it goes into center field. Kaler will come in to score, Heath will go to third, a stolen base and a throwing error, and it's a 6-4 ball game. Bremer's pitch, swing a line drive into right field, a base hit. The fourth hit of the inning for the Ducks as Nick Heath trots home from third, Yoni Hernandez's RBI single has made this a one-run game at 6-5. Ready to go, deals, runner goes, and Antonini crushes one deep down the line and right. Fair ball, this could be trouble. It is fair, and you can forget it. Aaron Antonini clears the wall and right for a go-ahead two-run home run in the bottom of the seventh inning. His 14th home run of the year has given the Ducks a 7-6 lead. Warzo one. Pantoja swings a grounder back to the mound. Moore fields, looks the runner back to third, throws to first, and pulled Morton off the bag. Now the runner coming home to throw home, not in time. Great base running by J.C. Encarnacion as he scores on the ground out to first, and the Ducks now lead it eight to six. It's the difference in the game. Leobaldo Cabrera, first pitch swinging, grounds it off the diving glove of Lair and down the left field line. Hernandez will come in to score. Lair goes to scamper for the baseball and gets there. It's an RBI single for Leobaldo Cabrera, and the Ducks lead 9-7. 2-2. Swing and a miss for strike three. Save number 11 on the year for Ramon Santos, and the Long Island Ducks earn their largest come from behind win of the season as they turn a five run deficit into a two run series opening win over the Lancaster Stormers.